So today we are going to talk about email integration. So it's going to be like an interesting topic because pretty much many of you have tried to configure it. So in agenda we have we're going to look about the pop IMAP Outlook plugin for both Windows and Mac and Zoho CRM for Office 365 and BCC Dropbox. All right, so why we need the email integration? So in a typical business scenario, you use a CRM to manage all your contact information and your customer information. And you have your email client like uh, Gmail or Outlook or whatever like email service you're using to manage all your email interaction. So in Zoho, we have the contextual integration. So we have planned to do the email integration and collaborate your email with Zoho CRM. So that is what we are going to do now. So as a salesperson, it's pretty difficult for them to uh, switch between two tabs or two windows to manage their emails and to manage their CRM account. So when we do a collaboration, the email is going to be integrated with the respective lead and the contact in Zoho CRM. So communication, are there are like different types of communication like emails, chats, calls, memos, fax. But still, email is one of the most preferable methods. So globally, around 40% of the people still prefer email for their communication. And we have CRM for sales. And today's goal is to tie this together. So if we have email for communication, and we have CRM for sales, and we are going to tie this together. So this is a fancy integration. So as a salesperson, uh, what do you need? So you need uh, everything in one place, and you need to have the relevant information at that place. And you need to able to view the activity and also you need to have to share the emails to your colleagues within your company. So when you integrate, what happens? You have the emails within CRM. So even if you configure a POP or an IMAP account, you would see a tab for emails. So you basically have the emails within CRM and the contextual communication. So the emails will be associated to the respective contact or a lead. So basically, when you open a contact record or a lead record, you would see the contextual information, the email communication that you had within the contact record. And you would be able to see the history. So you will see all the email conversation that you had with the respective lead or a contact. And this is a unique feature called sharing. So you have an option to share the email to your colleagues. I mean, to share the email of a respective contact or a lead record to your colleagues. Let's say if you don't come to the office and you want to share the email to your colleagues in the company since you are working on an important deal about to close, so you can go with the sharing option. As you know, there are like a lot of email hosting services like a Gmail, Zoho Mail, Yahoo, and GoDaddy. And also you may have your desktop client like Outlook. In Zoho CRM, using the email integration, you have an option to integrate all your email hosting services as well as your desktop client using the Outlook plugin. So using a POP and IMAP integration, you can integrate your email hosting services. And using the Outlook plugin, you can integrate your Outlook Exchange server. So first, we are going to see about a POP and an IMAP. So this is a contact record in CRM where you have an option uh, to send an email within Zoho CRM. Uh, so this is a pretty much a basic functionality which any CRM has. So nothing special about uh, sending an email from Zoho CRM. But the unique feature we have is the email communication is associated to the respective contact. So when you configure a POP or an IMAP, the contextual information is going to be shown under the respective record, along with the notes and activities and other related information when you open a particular contact. So this is one of the a unique feature when you have a contextual in communication or email integration. And the email history. So you'll be able to view the 
email communication that you had so far under the respective contact record. And also we have an intelligent feature uh, in CRM to track the emails. So this is uh, a recent feature uh, which we didn't have previously, an option to track the emails. So basically when you send emails from Zoho CRM, it's going to track the emails. So it's going to show uh, the time the email has been opened, the time the email has been sent, and the time the email has been delivered. So this is a tracking option which has been uh, released recently. And as well, you have the email communication and all the conversation that you had with the respective record. And we have email sharing options. So we have the three email sharing options like uh, private, public, and record level sharing. So private. So if you want to sh keep your emails within yourself, I mean email privately, if you don't want to share the email with your colleagues, you can go with private. Public, if you want to share the email to the users in the organization, you can go with public. So all the email conversation that you have with your leads and contacts will be shared to the other users in the company, I mean the colleagues in your company. In the sense it's not public to everyone, I mean public to all the users within your company. And the unique feature is the record level sharing. Let's say if uh, two salesperson are working on a particular deal and you want to close the deal and you want to know the status like what's happening with that particular uh, deal. So in that case you can go with record level sharing where you can share a particular contact communication with another user. So which basically helps each salesperson to know where they are in and they can help to close the deal easily. So this is what I've shown you, like uh, the option to share an email. So you can go to an individual a contact record and you would see an option to share email, which is only the email communication of that particular contact would be shared with the other users, not all the emails. So this is the unique feature we have. And this is another brilliant feature uh, for email integration where you get notification from your leads and contacts. So it's basically going to filter the emails which is sent by the leads and contacts. So if you go to your email inbox, you will have a bunch of records. So you would have received letters from newsletter from Groupon or like subscriptions from health magazines, all the stuff. But with this brilliant feature, it's going to filter the emails which is received only from the leads and contacts. So you won't have a crap of other emails. It's just like going to filter only specific emails from your leads and contacts. So let's say you're working or you're trying to create a quote. So you're in the middle of creating a quote. So you get this notification. So here you have an option to send an email by clicking the notification and send it from there. So you have an option to reply from that notification. And also you have an option to add a follow-up task. So immediately after you send an email, you can add a follow-up task, which is going to create a task under the respective contact. So since you are in the middle of the quote, so after you reply the emails and after you add a follow-up task, you'll be still in the same place where you are creating a quote. So you don't want to like flip back and forth each time. So you can just stay in the same place where you are in. And before we going into the demo, I would like to give uh, a basic difference between a uh, pop and IMAP. I know like a few of you know the difference between pop and IMAP, uh, but this is a basic question from all our customers, like the difference, and they need to know about the difference between the pop and IMAP. So you have pop versus IMAP. So pop uh, basically gonna download the email from your email server to your local machine, to your local computer. Whereas in IMAP, you have the email server and it's going to sync across multiple devices. Say you have a work laptop, a home computer, you have a smartphone, and you have a tablet, it's going to sync across many devices. But whereas in POP, you can just save it to one single device. And the other comparison would be if you, in IMAP, let's say you open an email from your laptop it's going to show as red on the other devices such as your tablet, your computer, and your smartphone. So if the email is opened, it is going to show as red and 
on other devices. Whereas in POP, when you open an email, it's still going to show as unread in your email server. And the third one would be, let's say if you delete an email in IMAP like one, on one of your devices from your, let's say your smartphone, it's going to be deleted across other devices on your home computer, on your laptop. But in POP, it works independently. So let's go into a demo. I'm going to walk through to a demo in my test account. So pretty much this is a CRM account and go to a email settings. And these are the options which are uh, readily available like Zoho Mail, Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, and Office 365. So if your email host is not listed here, you still have an option to configure using the other mail option on the last if you know the account details. So I'm going to show you to configure a pop in Gmail first. So account name, which pretty much your uh, display name. This is my Gmail address. So it's basically going to pull the information. So the information is automatically fetched in, like your incoming server details and the port number, and your outgoing server details and the port number. And you can just click on Add Account. So it's done. And as I said you before, you have the email sharing permission. So you can set it to private, public, or record level sharing uh, based on your need. And Next, if you open a contact or a lead and go to the email section, so first thing is you would see the emails which is sent from Zoho CRM. And when you click the username, you would see the email which has been received. So basically, if that person replied, you would see that as well. This is how uh, the pop works. And I'll show you how to do the IMAP configuration again for Gmail. Going into the setup, email settings. Let me deactivate it, the pop. So click on the Gmail icon again, so you can select IMAP. So when you do an IMAP account, it will ask you to log into your Gmail. So since I have already logged in to my Gmail account, it shows here. So I can select my Gmail and it's gonna like update the information automatically. So from my Gmail. And again. So basically when you come again to the leads, it's still going to be the same. So when you go to a related information for emails, you would see the email sent from CRM as well. If that person replied, that would be under here. All right, so this is how you configure POP and IMAP. And if you have a different email host, as I said before, like if your email hosting services is not listed here, you still have an option where you go to others and you can, if you know your account details, like the server details and the port number, you can go to other mail and configure a POP or an IMAP. It's gonna be the same thing. So just make sure that you know the server details for whatever email client that you're trying to configure. Uh, coming back, so the next thing we are going to see about is the Outlook plugin. So we have Outlook plugin for both uh, Windows and for Mac. So using Outlook plugin, you can basically synchronize your task calendar and events from Outlook to Zoho CRM and vice versa. And there is an option to associate emails from Outlook to Zoho CRM. So these are the available versions of Outlook, as you see here. So we just basically support most of the versions in Outlook. And you can pick the one which suits you, which you actually configured in your computer and install it. So here is an option. So when you download and install the Outlook plugin and open your Outlook, in the menu bar, you would see Zoho CRM. So click Zoho CRM, and you would see an option to sign in. 
So here you have to give your CRM login credential. And there is an option to sign in. So once you sign in, it takes you to the settings page. So we get like uh, customers where they say like, my Outlook plugin doesn't work. So basically, uh, what they do is, uh, once after login to the Outlook plugin, they would try to sync contacts or calendar, and it won't work. So the thing that you need to do is, after you install and log into the plugin, please make sure that you have configured your settings. So say in the settings, we have an option to select a particular folder. Let's say in contacts, you have to select a particular contact folder in Outlook, which you want to sync with Zoho CRM. And same way for task and calendar. When coming to emails, using the Outlook plugin, uh, you don't have an option to associate your incoming emails from Outlook to Zoho CRM. But that is an option to synchronize your e outgoing emails from Outlook to Zoho CRM automatically. So as you see in the screenshot, so that is a check on add outgoing emails to Zoho CRM automatically. So when you make a check on that, the emails that you sent from Outlook will be associated to the respective lead or a contact in Zoho CRM. If you, it is like not mandatory, so if you think that you need that, you can just select that option. And also please make sure that the sent items is selected in the folder. And conflict resolution, uh, let's say there is a duplicate contact uh, in Outlook as well as in Zoho CRM. So using the conflict resolution, you can decide whether Zoho has to be the master or Outlook has to be the master or you need to decide upon an alert. So if you're gonna select Zoho, it's gonna override the duplicate contact in Outlook and gonna merge it. If you're gonna select Outlook, it's gonna override the details in Zoho and create a single record and merge it. Or else you can go with a pop-up alert. So at the time, you can make sure whether you go on to go with uh, Zoho or Outlook. So you can pretty much come here to the settings and change it at any time. So once you install the plugin in Out for Outlook and configure the settings, you would see the options on the top to synchronize your contacts, task, calendar, add an email manually, search in add email manually, and also to add a case. So this is pretty much the same where you have an option to sync contacts. Just click on sync contacts and sync tasks, sync calendar, and you need to select a particular email and click on add email, which is gonna check for a respective lead or a contact in CRM and gonna associate it. All right, so as we talked before, like you have an option to sync contacts, sync tasks, sync calendar, and select a particular mail in Outlook and associate to a contact or a lead in CRM. And this is a cool thing where we have to search and add an email. So you can select a particular email in Outlook and you can search whether you need to associate to a lead or to a contact or to a potential. So you have all three options. You can either select any one and associate to a contact record or a lead record or a potential, which is a deal in Zoho CRM. And finally, we have case where you can like, if you have cases in Outlook, you can associate or sync those cases in Zoho CRM. So basically when you associate an email from Outlook to Zoho CRM, so this is a contact record in Zoho CRM. So under the related section, you have the emails and you will see the source which shows as Outlook plugin. So by this, you can differentiate whether the emails are sent through Outlook plugin or through a mail add-on or through workflows or through individual emails. Also, we have a plugin for Mac. Same way, just go to email settings and you can download and install the plugin for Mac. It's, it's not like a feature rich as Outlook plugin. Since you have a Mac plugin, it's gonna be different. The interface is different. So Mac plugin is similarly like just as the Outlook plugin, but it's not like feature rich as uh, the uh, Windows plugin but still you have an option to associate emails to Zoho CRM and synchronize your contacts, 
task and calendar. So when you configure and install the Mac plugin, on the top, you would have Z, which is a Zoho icon. So I'm going to expand it so you would see here. So when you click the Z on the top, you have an option again, just as in your Windows plugin, to synchronize your contacts, tasks, and event. And also you have an option to add emails manually. So this is a new feature called Zoho CRM for Office 365. So <clears throat> basically, if you have an online Office 365 account, you have an option to synchronize your contacts and calendar as well. The third option would be to add your Office 365 users in Zoho CRM. So you don't want to like log into your CRM and add the user. So when you configure and integrate your Office 365 with Zoho CRM, you have an option to directly add a user, add an Office 365 user in Zoho CRM. I'm going to show you a demo. So here is my Office 365 account. So give my login credential here and sign in. So first thing you do is go to the widgets place and click on get more apps. There is a app for Zoho CRM. This is like uh, a store in Office 365. So search for Zoho CRM, you would find a widget. So you need to like install the plugin for Zoho. And once you do that, you would see that over here. So I have linked my Zoho CRM account with my Office 365 account. So once I click that icon, it directs me to Zoho CRM. And as I told you before, if I'm going to users, so I have two options here. One is the default option, as, as you know, like click on new user and give the information and add it. Since we have the Office 365 configured, you have an option to use your Office 365 user. So these are the list of my Office 365 users. I can pick any one and give them a role and a profile and invite two to join to my Zoho CRM account. And also when you go to extensions and APIs, you would see Microsoft, which you would only see if you have configured the Office 365 plugin. You won't see in the other account. So if you have configured Office 365 as we did now, you would be able to see these two options. So again, you can synchronize your events, which is calendar, and also you have an option to synchronize your contacts. So you have an option to map the fields. Using Office 365, uh, we have seen this option where you can uh, synchronize your calendar and contact. And also I've shown you in the demo to add users from your Office 365 users in Zoho CRM. All right. So this is the final uh, topic, BCC Dropbox. This has nothing to do with the Dropbox feature or the Dropbox application. So this is a feature in Zoho CRM called BCC Dropbox. So let's say like uh, if none of the covered integrations is not going to work for you, we still have this traditional method of email integration, which is BCC Dropbox. So what you need to do is in Zoho CRM, you have an option to get a BCC Dropbox address. So pretty much if you go to Zoho CRM and click on BCC Dropbox, you have this address a kind of an alpha numeric address. So what you need to do is just copy the address. And when you compose an email, you need to paste that address and send an email. So what happened is it's going to associate only that particular email to the respective lead or a contact in Zoho CR. So you have an option to do the settings. So either if you want to just associate it with only leads, you can select the first option. If you want to associate with contacts, you can go with the second option. And the third option is pretty simple. It would find, it would search in leads and contacts. And if it doesn't find any matching records, it's going to create a new lead or a new contact. So based on your selection, it's going to do it. So when you do that uh, and open a particular contact, you would see the source as BCC Dropbox. 
So similar like when you associate an email from Outlook, it shows as Outlook plugin, but when you do it through BCC Dropbox, it shows as BCC Dropbox in the source. So basically, with this email integration, what you get is uh, the emails is going to be associated with the leads and contacts. And using the record level sharing, you can share like uh, client-specific emails with the other users. And using the notification, you can view and respond emails from Zoho CRM.